Well, aloha, everybody. Uh, this, this past week has been an exciting one for sure. Frankly, maybe the most uh, exciting one during my tenure here. That said, nothing worthwhile is ever easy, but we are warriors. And with teamwork and diligence, we are here. Today is an exciting day for Hawaii football. When we lost our football coach a week ago, my first concern was for our players. These guys put in the work on the field and in the classroom. Won 18 games these past two seasons and ended seasons as champions. Th these guys matter to me. I met with all of them as a group. I listened to what they had to say. They were alone. I encouraged them to tell me how they were feeling. I also spoke with them in smaller groups and appreciated one-on-one -on -one conversations as well. These are great young men looking for a new leader. We wanted someone who cared about them as students and athletes, someone who would teach them how to be better individually and inspire them on how to be better as a team. We also wanted someone, not necessarily a homegrown guy, but someone who shared their values, who understands. The job opening created a lot of interest from a lot of coaches uh, locally uh, and, and nationally. Legitimate candidates from all over the country were reaching out. It was awesome. They, they see talent we have on this team. They see fierce competitive spirit we have on this team. They see the brotherhood because we all know they weren't re reaching out for just a job. There was intense pressure to move quickly, but I wasn't going to sacrifice quality for time. There was just too much at stake. Like I said, there were a lot of candidates who could do the job. Some were internal and some were not. Our goal was to find the best head coach for this team and this program. A coach who could build, teach, inspire, and lead. Todd Graham has an impressive list of credentials. 12 years head coach, coaching spirits in D1, a 95-61 record. Pac-12 Coach of the Year, Conference A, USA Coach of the Year, also um, Sheridan Hawaii Bowl champion when I was in another life. That was a good life. Um, <laughs> multiple division championships in Conference USA and the Pac-12, and 10 bowls in 12 years. But that's not why Todd is here. He is here for our guys. Todd is a player's coach. He has an incredible knack for teaching and developing players to be the very best they can be. He shares our values of Ohana, which was demonstrated by the time, we, you know, by the time uh, my wife and I actually got to spend with him and his wife, Penny. We welcome Penny here, and uh, we look forward to meeting your six children. <laughs> mm. He values hard works. He respects the diversity across all cultures that make up this island, this program, and this team. He is a teacher. He is a professor of football. This football team is not broken. This football team is just getting started. Please welcome head coach of the University of Hawaii Rainbow Warrior Football Program, Todd Graham. All right, I don't think this is working, so I'm going to move that out of the way. Thank you so much. It's uh, such a great honor and privilege to be here. I want to thank David. Oh, you need it. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, well, I'll leave it alone then. Uh, but I want, I want to thank uh, President Lastner and, and, and David for uh, believing in me. Uh, it's, a, it's a great honor and a privilege for me to be here. Uh, I wanted to share a little bit about, about who I am and, and, and what I'm about. Uh, uh, first, I want to start off by, you know, I, I know you mentioned Penny, my wife. Stand up there, Penny. All right. So, so you know I'm a good recruiter. All right. And... Uh, because most of the time I get that. How, how, you're married to her? Very, very, very fortunate. I mean this. Uh, you know, uh, we've had a great adventure in being educators. And, uh, uh, you know, moving our family and, and coming here is something that uh, is a big move. And it's one that we're very, very excited about. And, but I'm very thankful that I have a, a tremendous wife and, and, and a great family. Because that's, that's really, when I talk to you about who I am, uh, I'm a person. When I talk to the players today, we talk about faith. We talked about family, and we talked about football. And so I'm just very grateful to, to Penny for, you know, 31 years of traveling all over and coaching football, and it's been a, been a great joy. It's a great joy to be a teacher and be an educator. And so I'm, I'm honored to be here, and I wanted to start off and talk a little bit uh, to, to the people of Hawaii. You know, this is your football team. I'm very humbled and very honored to be your coach. And uh, one of the things I told our players today is that I will work hard to earn your trust, to earn your respect. And uh, we'll be a program about winning championships. And winning will be defined by not only what we do on the football field, but what we do in the classroom, and what we do in the community. 
And I want these uh, young men that come through our program to be championship husbands of integrity, to be uh, championship fathers, and uh, to know what it is to live a championship life. And so uh, that's something we talked about, what I call your best mentality. Uh, you'll get my best every day. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's, that's something that I'll, I'll commit to, to this program. But the people of Hawaii, I'm, I'm so honored uh, to be here. I'm so honored to be your coach. Uh, I can't wait. Uh, I'm excited that uh, a lot of times when, when you, you go through transitions, you come into a place and, and you, you got to figure out how to win. Uh, and, and the next step here is to win the Mountain uh, West Championship. So that's, that's what I'm excited about. Uh, tell, you, tell you a little bit about uh, our, our brand of football. Uh, it, we're we're going to attack. Uh, we're going to play the game with great speed and great physicality. Uh, we'll be the hardest working. Uh, we'll be the most disciplined, most physical, and best prepared team in the country. That's, that's, that's our focus every day, is to win every day and how we do things, obviously doing that by, by being the givers of respect uh, in everything that we do. I would expect our players to compete in the classroom with the same passion they compete on the field with because I want to win that championship, and that's how you get it done. How you do anything is how you do everything. Uh, one of the things I want to commit is that I can tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to be a learner. Uh, I've, got, I've got a lot to learn. Obviously, when you come into a new endeavor, uh, that, that's important. But I can tell you this. I'm, I'm a person about relationships. I care. Uh, I was the first person in my family to get a chance to go to college and get an education. And football afforded me that opportunity. It changed my life. Coaches and teachers impacted my life. I wouldn't be standing here if not for them and, and not for my mother and for my family. And that's who I represent. And so I will work hard every day to make a difference in young people's lives and to make a difference in this community. And our focus will be this community. And we start to talk about recruiting and recruits. Uh, it's the University of Hawaii. And, and so we'll represent this state and that's where our priority will be. And uh, obviously I've got, a, I've got a lot to learn, but, uh, but uh, I'm, I'm ready, willing and able and I'm excited for that opportunity. Uh, I wanna talk a little bit, I've talked to the players today. We had a great meeting, man, I was, uh, uh, you know, I, I told them I watched them last year uh, physically uh, uh, dominate uh, two Pac-12 teams. I was thoroughly impressed with, obviously, a bowl champion. And uh, uh, I was very, very impressed this morning. I'm very, very uh, 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 thankful for the coaches that have come before me and the players that have come before me here. One of the things that's important to me uh, in the way I grew up is, is to honor the past and honor the people who have been here and the great tradition of this program. And so I want our former players out there to know that this is your program, that, uh, you know, uh, I'll be reaching out to you. I'm, I'm hoping to be able to uh, communicate with you guys via email as well as uh, at, at uh, home football games. One of my priorities is every game I meet with former players. Uh, the people that strap that helmet on, uh, I have great respect for. And so I wanted to shout out to them and tell them how honored I am to be here. One of my mentors and great friend is a man by the name of Coach Dick Tomey. And uh, a great man. And I hope that I can impact this community uh, in, in, in at least a little bit in the way that he did. Because he impacted me as a coach and had a big influence on me, and I know he's smiling down today. Our recruits, uh, as soon as I'm done with this press conference, I'll be on the phone with you. And, uh, uh, you know, I, you know in, in my whole deal is it's not about a sales pitch. People don't really care about what you say. They care about what you do. And so I'm looking forward to, to talking to them, many, many of the young men that made, made that signed on, on early signing and that committed to our program. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be on planes and coming to see you and uh, coming to see your parents. I wanted to reach out to our, the parents of our existing players. And uh, I know transition is tough, but uh, I don't take it lightly that uh, your son's future is in my hands. And that influence and that responsibility, I want you to know that I'm committed uh, to helping them be champions in life. And help, their dreams are my dreams. As we move forward, I want you to know, the, you know our focus as a football team are on a core set of values, character, smart, disciplined, tough. And we'll be a program about winning championships. Uh, how we're, our style of play and how we're going to do it, we're, we're going we're to we're air it out. 
Uh, we're going to – every place I've been, I've averaged almost 40 points a game as, as a head football coach. Uh, we'll have men that are great teachers, and we'll, put, we'll, we'll play an explosive, exciting brand of football. Uh, we'll attack in everything that we do and play the game with great speed and physicality. Very honored to be here. God bless you, and go Bows. Coach, uh, you, you've been out of coaching for two years. You, you said recently that you to take jobs, but you passed on them because you wanted to find the right fit, the right location, the right culture. What is it about Hawaii that makes you feel that it's the right fit? Yeah, obviously, you know, one of the things I'll, I'll, I'll t share with you is, is being out of the game. I, I can tell you that, um, that, that, that the last 24 months has been probably the greatest learning experience of my life. Uh, I, I was, I, I believe the good Lord put me on this earth to impact young people and be a teacher. And I'm going to tell you, I will never take that for granted because, uh, you know, I, I can tell you, I've missed it. Uh, getting uh, the players, I just see a bunch of our players in here and getting to visit with them today and, and, and to be, in, be able to lead and impact young people's lives is something that, uh, man, is important to me. So that, that, that's one big thing. I think, uh, you know, in my life, my priorities uh, are my faith. Uh, we're, a, we're a very spiritual family. Uh, we are, uh, 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 you know, family is what's important to me. The way I approach uh, being an educator is very family-driven, family-centered. Uh, I've, I've been here and visited here. It's one of uh, our, and I can tell you, we're, we're, we're going to buy a house, uh, I think, east of here, and, and it's our forever house because uh, I can tell you, my wife and I, most of I've got five college graduates. Uh, probably should have mentioned that. Very proud of that. We've got one 17-year-old. Uh, that's uh, that's fired up to be a part of it, but really that to me it, it, it was a great fit in that the values that the, that this state and this university is about I believe that that I fit and I and, I, and I'm gonna tell you this I've learned I've made mistakes in the past and I've made uh, uh, I thought I could win anywhere and and you have to fit a place and so I you know if you ask me in one word to describe who I am I'm all about relationship and to me when I think of Hawaii, I think of the experiences I've had here, the people that I know here, the kids that I've coached that have been from here. That, that's how I describe Hawaii. First off, welcome, Coach. Thank you. Uh, when you were at Arizona State, I'm sure you got the opportunity to recruit the state of Hawaii. Uh, mm -hmm. When you look at high school football players in this state, just in general, what kind of athletes do you see? Well, one of, one of the things that I'll tell you is kind of interesting, a, a young man that played for me in 2010 that came here and played. Uh, it, you know, when, when I took the job, your players are calling you and congratulating you. And uh, he, he made a point. He called him, his name's Nelson Cohen, played middle linebacker for us and was a great player. And uh, he said, man, coach, he said, let me tell you now, those guys out there bring it. And we actually won that game. But, you know, and I told the players, one of the things that really – the game of football I love because it emulates life. It's tough. It's hard. It's physical, right? And uh, uh, when, I, when I think of uh, the attributes of, of what it is to play here and the style of football, uh, one of the things that watching those games and watching them, it wasn't any, you know, it, it wasn't any fluke when they, when they beat the, the Pac-12 teams this last year. I watched them out physical them. And so that's the thing that I know. I know that, uh, uh, you know, that we'll, we'll recruit the best and the brightest with the best character that fit our program uh, right here from, from these islands first. And so, uh, you know, I, I, there's a competitiveness, uh, you know, that, uh, that I think in, in, the, in this region that is unique. And so that's something I'm excited about. And our players will tell you now, I'm, I'm a passionate guy. And, uh, you know, I, what I love about this game is it is hard. It's difficult to win. I'm going to tell you, winning 10 football games is hard to do. What they accomplished is, is pretty amazing. Uh, and obviously, we got, we got unfinished business, and that's, that's to go win that championship. One more for me real quick. Yes, sir. Uh, player development, something that I think is really big in college football, and it's listed here on your resume. What's the recipe for player development? Well, my big thing, I'm, I'm an educator and a teacher. Uh, you know, everybody wants to go fast, right? We're going to be fast tempo, and we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna play the game at a, at a blistering pace. I think it's very difficult because for a defense to be able to operate in that kind of pressure. Obviously, you've seen the emergency, emergence of the spread offense and just how difficult that is. So points are going, have gone up, you know, big time. 
And so, you know, the key to doing that is that if you have young people and you have a set of values and you, 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 you assign young people and you recruit young people and you develop young people and coaches with character first, and then you recruit young people that are smart and you're organized, it produces something called discipline. And we're going to be able to operate faster and more efficient and more physical than the opponent because of our discipline. Does that make sense? So developing staff and developing players, to me, uh, is, about, is about education. It's about teaching. We integrate technology into teaching. Uh, what we're going to do offensively and defensively is going to be complex. One of the things I told the players is they're not learning a whole new terminology. Uh, you know, the success uh, here, uh, you know, you, you can research it, and the success here has already been designed. There's a design to be successful here. Uh, and I can tell you, I like it. I, every, any offensive coordinator we have here is going to throw the ball 15 times deep down the field because I like that and fans like that, and it scores touchdowns. So that, that's, that, that's kind of how we're going to do it. Defensively, we're going to attack. We're going we're to be hard to prepare for in three days. And to do that, it's easy to sit up and say that, but it's hard to get done. And so, uh, you know, it, developing them starts with you develop their heart, then their mind, then the body, body follows. But uh, we're going to teach, and we're going to train. Uh, and, and, you know, we talked this morning about winning championships. Everybody's fired up. But I'm going to tell you now, we're going to go to work because no one's going to outwork us. And, and, that, and, and, and what I mean by that, too, is being smart uh, by how we go about working. And there's lots of things that we can do. I'm excited about – I think there's lots of things we can do in development with our players. And um, – We'll be very methodical in who we bring here and how we, you know, obviously, you know, that's something that's really important to me. And I've had the, uh, you know, privilege of, uh, of developing assistant coaches that have gone on to be head football coaches and, and selecting the right people for the right fit here. But those coaches will come in and adapt to our players. The players are not going to adapt to the coaches. Does that make sense? I mean, from a terminology standpoint. And, and then from, from a standpoint as far as training them physically. Uh, it's just, you know, just, just a, it's every day uh, training to operate faster and more efficient uh, with the discipline that it takes to dominate. Um, what do you make of the roster you're inheriting, and how do you think it aligns with um, what you want to accomplish on both sides of the ball? Well, I'm v very impressed. Uh, you know, I think we got things in place uh, that uh, we can do the things that we've talked about. Uh, you know, uh, I think, you know, obviously you, you, there's, you can improve. There's no question about that. Uh, but I, I like the roster. I like, I, I tell you, I, I don't, th I was, I, I've never been in a meeting. I told David this. I, I was, I was in, as impressed with our young men this morning as much as I've ever been impressed with any group I've ever met with. I mean, I was impressed. And so we, we've got, uh, they've done some hard work. They've done some grinding here. They've done, they, they've developed and trained these guys pretty well, I think. And because, uh, you know, the brand, I, I think we have a physicality, a base of physicality. Uh, I think we got some guys that can run. I think we got some speed. Obviously, can't ever have enough speed. You know, uh, that, this, you know, that the, our, you know, how you play the game is, is speed, explosive power. Uh, and, uh, and, and I think the tempo is what, what defines who we are. Because our whole deal, we're not trying to trick anybody. We're trying to create a fifth quarter by the pace in which we go. And then when things get tough, then you find out what people are made of. And I, and I'm, I'm, I, I like the base that we have here. Uh, it seems um, wherever you've uh, been the head coach, you, raised, you personally raised a lot of money for the program. Is that part of your role here too? Absolutely. I, you, know, um, I, you know, my deal is I told our players that, that uh, part of me asking them to give their best every day. I told them I don't want anybody to have a great attitude. I want your best attitude every day, your best, period. And so when it comes, obviously there's lots of things we can do to, uh, to, to maximize the development of our players with, with technology uh, in classroom settings and, and, in, and improving, uh, uh, you know, our nutrition, improving how we train, improving the, the uh, apparatuses that we have to, to initiate great training. Uh, there's all kinds of things we can do, and, and part of that involves money. And so uh, uh, we, we'll work hard. I think when you have a great cause, when you have a great cause in your heart, and you're doing things the right way, people will get behind that cause. And so we've been, I've been fortunate enough to do that, and I think it's all about relationship. You know, uh, you know I've been, over the last, you know, 12 years to be in Division I football coach, I have not had one, you know, I mean, obviously you've got to win. I mean, you know, you have to win, period. And, but define winning. Define winning. The pe people will get behind 
you know, I think, you know, you know a, a team that has scholar ballers that are, you know, you got a football team operating at 3.0 or higher GPA. You get, you're graduating your football players. Uh, you, you, you're doing things with class and character and integrity and not many, no, no median standards. I'm talking about high standards when it comes to that. And people, people will activate and, and be about that cause. And, and I, I just think that that's part of my job is uh, it, they, they, they deserve my best too. And so whatever I can do to, to advance this university, this community, I represent this state, this university, and this athletic department. So I'll be as involved as, as uh, my, uh, my superiors want me to be. Hey, Coach, do you have a uh, timetable on your staff hire? And will whoever you hire as an offensive coordinator, how much will that affect the offense that you decide to run um, in, in Pacifics? Well, like I said, I mean, we're going to run. I mean, I mean, basically, you know, uh, we're going to be a four wide, spread, no huddle, fast paced offense. We're going to stretch the field vertically and horizontally. Uh, you know, obviously, the run and shoot has been here for forever. Uh, I think it's worked pretty good. So, uh, like I said, we'll have an offensive coordinator that believes in then our. We'll have one philosophy here, and I've, I've defined that today. And uh, I've got I've got a great candidate pools. Uh, I've obviously got an idea of, of what I want to do. Uh, I'm not hiring all my buddies. I'm gonna hire guys that fit here, and that and I'm gonna be very very. Uh, I'm a process guy. I'm not going to uh, make emotional decisions, and I'm gonna take my time to make sure that we get it right. And so, but it, it, we, we, we would like to get that done uh, yesterday, but uh, uh, we'll, we'll move uh, as, as quickly as, as need be. But I anticipate the next few weeks, uh, you know, making great progress in that. But like I said, I think it's one of the things I've, I've learned in transitions is that in transitions, we just won 10 football games. So why would you come and completely change what you're doing? Why wouldn't you take and look at that film and the things that we did great, let's build upon it. You know, uh, we're going to run four verticals. They ran four verticals last year. Well, whatever they called it last year, that's what we're going to call it. And so lots of times with coaches, and that's, I guess that's my educational background, is that I'm just not willing to do that. We're not changing terminology. We're, we're, there's going to be obviously some new things, uh, but uh, uh, we're going to build upon the things that we've done, right? Because uh, what I want to be doing is, 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 is winning a Mountain West championship next year. And to do that, it sets you back all the things you have to, to relearn. Does that make sense? Uh, last one for me, just do you plan to talk to Rolovich about the returning staff that is still here in, in Manoa that, about uh, retaining them? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work hard. My first priority was our players today. Uh, my next priority is, is retaining the best and the brightest uh, and the quality people that are here that want to be a part of what we're doing. Uh, I'll, I will rehire everyone that, that – every, everyone we hire, I'll hire them. And uh, so, so uh, absolutely, our, our, that's our priority. Our priority right now, uh, my, my number one priority today was our players. Uh, and then obviously when I leave here is going to be uh, adding to that list of, with, with, with recruits. Uh, but staff's really, really important. And we just won 10 football games. So I imagine there's some pretty quality people here, so we're going to work hard to try, you know, to, to, to I'm, I'm not, uh, uh, you know, uh, saying when, how that process is going to go, what it's going to go, but obviously those people are being con strongly considered. Coach? Yes, sir. Bobby Curran, ESPN Honolulu. I wanted to welcome you first and ask you, uh, this is, might be similar to Texas in that high school football and football generally is important here. How do you reach out? How do you form those relationships, particularly with high school coaches and local parents? Well, it's just one handshake at a time. With our fans, with our fan base, uh, one of the things I love about football is, man, when you win, everybody loves you. And, and so <laughs> if you lose... Uh, you know, it, it ain't, they're not going to like you. So, so that's just the way I love that about football, the purity of that. High school coaches, I, I, I consider myself a high school football coach. In 2000, I was the head football coach at Allen High School. I grew up, and my goal in life was to be a high school football coach and give back. You know, I didn't have a dad, and, and so, so coaches, my seventh grade coach was my dad. And so getting to know them, and when they know that you're pouring into their players and they know that you're making a difference, what I cared about when I was a high school football player, I cared the college coaches came in there, I expect them to take care of my players. And, uh, and when you're talking about the uh, young man's future, uh, their education, uh, their development, uh, it's a big deal. And so it's not something that you come in and imme immediately happens. You get out one handshake at a time and you earn their trust and you earn their respect. And you do that by, by taking care of their young people and, and, and helping, their, helping them reach their dreams. 
Thanks, everybody, for coming. All right. Go Bulls.